I got here a uh, 2002 Saturn L200. So it's, uh, it's a little bit of rough shape, but they say it's a start and stall. And they said there's no communication. I have a battery charger connected because it was extremely dead. Um, I don't know if it's gonna start yet, but starts and stalls. Well, now it's a crank no start. Let's just get a scan. They said there's no communications. I'm just gonna do OBD. That will be the easiest, I think. Come down enough to. I think it's on. I see fuses here. It's never a good sign. There's two blown fuses right here. Okay. Something to keep in mind. We got no com. So let me look at a diagram. All right, here's a diagram for the the communication lines. So we have on the data link connector we have pin two, which is the class two. We got all the modules connected. Let's see, we have auto control, climate, on star, body control, sensing, diagnostic module, instrument panel cluster, and the powertrain. So let me plug in a breakout box and see what we have on pin two. Gonna plug my scan tool in here also just so I want to communicate with something. All right, I'm gonna put a scope on pin two. It's not flashing, so we probably don't have anything on it, but let's see. Um, just gonna test my scope quickly just to make sure we got a ground here. Let's check if this is a good power and it goes up to 12 volts, so we're good. Now let's put it on pin two. We have 11 volts on it, but there's no data. Okay, yeah, so now I'm gonna do it here. So let's go see, let's go look at the diagram. Now let me just try to crank it with the scope in. Starts and dies, oh yeah. There's no real communication on it. So something's probably shorted on it. Some module's probably bad. Um, all right, is there a, usually there's like a bar that splices them all together. Usually it's under the dash, so we'll just look there first. Many, many minutes later. All right, can't find it for now. Well, that's gonna make life a lot more difficult. Let me just, just unplug models. All right, let's unplug the computer. Definitely moved, but nothing happened. All right. What else is on it? All right, power trinket control module being unplugged. Instrument panel cluster. Sensing and diagnostic module on the rear floor console. Look up if we have that. Body control module, auto climb control, okay, and on star, which I don't think we have because I don't see any button that says on star. So let's see if we can get to this easy. Oh, nothing simple in this car. All right, I got this thing unplugged and there's no difference. So we gotta plug this back in. Back. Okay, let's get that soon. Um, all right, so it's not here. What else do we need? I don't think this is the hazard button. All right, so we minus off um, auto climate control module, which I just realized it was a waste of time because that's not an auto climate control so this probably doesn't have class 2 data on it okay on star we don't have either i don't think so body control module i have to get to sensing diagnostic module under rear of floor console 
Okay. And the cluster. Yeah, the cluster doesn't look too bad. It looks like there's just two screws here. They're holding this top trim, so. take this out all right so i got the cluster out and there's no difference so i guess the only thing left is the body control module which we'll have to get to next but i do see some wires here that look cut what is going on here no it doesn't look, it's just factory okay i think Yeah, not much here. Okay, fine. So I gotta figure out how to get to the body control module. Just the blown fuses were from right over here. It's not really, uh, it's supposed to be like a, there's a rear wiper relay. Just like over here, it shows engine controls on this relay over here. And if you pull it out, it's like not a real relay. It just, I don't know, they're jumping it. So there was a blown fuse in there. So they tried putting new fuses in and it just blows. But I don't think this thing has a rear wiper. So I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. I must have this glove compartment out. All right, here is the body control module. And we got a cut wire right here. No way. Is that the whole thing? But it's, is it purple? Let me just jump this together temporarily to see if it does anything. Put that there. that there right, we still got nothing here um no let's just try to start it now no it still starts and dies okay good so we still have nothing here um all right so that wire i don't know what that wire does but okay so let's unplug now let's see this purple wire going in there Okay, this has a bunch of purple wires. This one, there we go. I unplug this. Oh, corrosion, right there. There we go. This is bringing down our class two network. See that corrosion? I unplug it, my thing's at zero. Now I'm gonna see if I can get anything to talk. Or at least it's not. Let me see if I get it to communicate now. I still have nothing on the network, but it could be because things are not plugged in. So, let's plug in the cluster. But I have a flash now on over there. So, I don't know why I can't see anything over here, but let me plug this in. All right, now I plug the cluster in. Things are going haywire. Unplug the cluster and I got nothing. So I think, I probably gotta clean that connector up and plug it back into the BCM. It's probably going through it. But let me just see if I can start it now. No, okay, so the network's still down, but we definitely saw a difference. Let me shut the ignition. We'll spray some stuff in the connector. Uh, what do we got? We got the exit. corrosion in there. How do I get this out? I just pulled the whole thing out. Um, this last one also has a lot of corrosion in it. Uh, let me just open this for a minute. Let's see what it looks like.
All right, there was definitely some corrosion in some of the boards, so I'll open this thing up. Some of the connectors had corrosion, like this one, this one. Let me see if I get this thing out. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Full of corrosion on all these pins. The resistor is blown over here. Or actually capacitors. Let's see if I can clean this up and drop. Yeah, this whole board's falling apart. Pins are tight, but it's more corrosion over here. Yes, I think the board itself was shorting out the connector on the outside. Um, now that we clean this up a little bit, let's see if we can get this thing started. If not, we're gonna order a new board. Cause the whole thing's paneling over here. I can't tell if it's a trace that's bad. No, it's just the mass was paneling, so this is one trace. Okay, let's plug this back in, see if we get anything different. All right, so now this goes here. Still have to figure out what this wire is too and fix that. Okay, it didn't rise now to voltage, but it could be because the key's off. Um, here we go. Uh, we're not at voltage anymore. But it's enough to start the car and run it. So, cleaning off the corrosion on that, the car's running. Um, the cluster is actually, yeah, it's plugged in. Okay. So now let's watch it. Yeah, we got a good network now. It's not great. It's not perfect. Like, it's still jumping around a little bit. But at least the car starts and runs. I think they could probably get a new BCM and we should be good to go. Clean it all up, maybe fix this wire over here. I don't know what that wire does. Now I should be able to communicate with the scan tool. Let's try that. Okay, we're in the computer, the car starts, it runs, we have a network back. Um, I, they're gonna have to fix this up a little more, clean it up, maybe get a new one, fix that wire. I'm just completely out of time now. This took longer than I expected. All right, thanks for watching.